How's everybody doing? My name is Anthony Brian Logan, and today we got to talk about this guy wearing an offensive face mask in a Vons grocery store. This is in Santee, California, in the San Diego County area. And I'll place a picture of said offensive mask on the screen before you. I don't need to say too much. You know what that is. But a question before I get into the spiel is where did he get that from? Does he, does he have that in his house? Does he put on a whole outfit and ride around town on a horse? Did he go to Amazon and get that? Where did he get that mask? I don't know, but I digress. The whole point is that he has on an offensive mask and it has a lot of buzz and attention around it. And the reason for that is a few fold, but well, probably two fold. First thing is that you're in Santee, California. This area is known for racist attacks and skinhead activity. So much so they call it Clancy. Now, I could be wrong about that, but I'm reading from the local news in San Diego. They said that this area is called Clan T rather than Santee by the locals. Okay, that's number one. But number two, just one day before this incident happened, San Diego County passed an ordinance that requires you to wear a face mask in public, especially in the grocery store. So I think the guy was making the point. I don't believe he's racist in this particular picture. Might he be a racist? Sure. At home, if he has the full outfit or whatever, he may be a racist. But I think the greater point was made in this incident. And the reason why I say that is because he went through the entire store with his mask on. OK, like he was in the produce aisle getting rutabagas and apples and, you know, corn on the cob, chicken, and everything else. You know, honey buns, Mountain Dew, all that good stuff. Put it into his basket. He went through the whole store and didn't really get accosted, not by the employees, not by the managers, not by anybody. And the people got their phones taking pictures, but anybody really doing nothing to him. It wasn't until he got to the checkout line that he was approached by a manager or somebody that said, hey, take the mask off or you got to leave right now. But by that time, he's already checking out. So it was like, what you want me to do? Just put everything back and decline my card. So he took his mask off and was allowed to finish checking out his items. And then he left. He was not physically removed by police or anything like that. He took his mask off and left. But you see what I said there. He took his mask off and was still in the store. So his point was made like you don't want every mask to be in the store. Now, do you? All right. How about I take my mask off? Matter of fact, I'm going to make you tell me to take my mask off. That's going to be clear because you can't go to no store with no clan outfit on or the hood or anything like that. You can't be white power from shoulders up. But then be like Bob the Buddha from the shoulders down. You about to go out there fish and hunt and whatnot from the shoulders down. That's not really how that works. You can't have on the full outfit or half the outfit of a racist organization. So as a result, he took the hood off due to being told to, but made the point of I'm not wearing the mask in the store. OK, and I thought this would be a case that happens a lot more because I'm seeing guys with game banger because right when I said Right when I saw this whole mandatory mask, I'm like, okay, can I wear a bandana? Can I come in like I'm about to rob the store? Ski mask? Like, what can I really do? All right. If I come into your store, I'm six foot three. I'm, I'm a dark skinned dude. And I have on a ski mask, bandana. And I might, I, be, I might be carrying a gun on me legally. I mean, is that going to be intimidating or what? Like, that's not going to be a sight you want to see. If I see a guy looking like me coming in masked up, I'm getting... My, my pistol ready to rock. You understand? Because I know that it could be a bad situation. So a guy that has on the clan outfit is like, nah, sir, I'm gonna need you to go ahead and, you know, I got my gun ready for whatever goes on. That's kind of a normal thing. You know, this, whole, this whole thing is idiotic though anyway with the mask. I'm reading from doctors that say that the mask is not really good for you because if you have on that mask, you're breathing in all kinds of toxins. Now, if this guy has had his clan rope for a long time, been sweating in it, doing whatever. I mean, whatever is in that mask, he's breathing. I doubt you're going to go take it to a laundromat and wash it in one of them big washers. Maybe you wash it by hand or your personal laundry machine or whatever. I'm not really sure, but you're not taking that to no industrial spot to get it cleaned or to a dry cleaners. Who is dry cleaning a clan outfit? I don't think anybody would, but I digress. My whole point is that Whatever's inside that mask, you breathe in constantly. You're not able to exhale properly and expel all of the impurities in your body. Okay, you breathe in oxygen, but you're breathing out other stuff. It's just like when you, you know, use a bathroom or whatever, it's the same kind of process. You're eating certain things, but you are expelling certain other things. You can't 
actually be eaten again. You understand what I'm saying? So that's kind of how the whole process works with the, the mask and whatnot. It's not really good. People can't breathe in the mask. Are you asthmatic? Do you have any kind of lung problems? It's crazy because they're saying uh, if you have the virus, especially wear a face mask, but the virus attacks your lungs. So why would I block my airways or in any kind of way impede them if I got a lung problem? Do I need more oxygen, not less oxygen? Doesn't that just kind of make sense? I'm not really sure. I heard about one story of a lady with the regular surgical mask on, driving the car, crashing and dying because she didn't have enough oxygen to get to her body, probably passed out, crashed the car and died. Okay, that's why people wearing their nose over the mask because they can't breathe in the mask. It's simple. All right, don't tell me, put this mask on and I can't even hardly breathe to protect me from a virus. Like, excuse me, isn't breathing more important than maybe getting the virus, maybe getting sick and maybe dying? You got to breathe every day, regardless of whether it's a virus or not, no virus. That's kind of common sense, but I'll move on. The whole point is that these masks are ridiculous. People are ridiculous. You know, I'm seeing guys wearing plastic trash bags over their face with no hole in it to breathe. It's like, man, people are suffocating. You know, you got gang bangers coming in there wearing their colors, you know, throwing gang signs. You got clan guys coming in there wearing half of their outfit. All kind of ridiculous things. So as I close, I want to say this. I think that guy's point was made. Where he got the outfit from, I, I don't know. I'm not really trying to ask because I'm not trying to, you know, have anybody on my radar. I'm just saying he made his point. He had his mask on. People didn't like that too much. Hey, take the mask off, sir. All right, cool. I have no mask on now. Now what? You know, can you get arrested for wearing a mask like that? Although they say you got to wear a mask. Like if they're mandating masks, can you get arrested for wearing that kind of mask? Because I've not seen anywhere where it say what kind of mask you gotta wear. If I gotta wear a mask, according to you, like if it's mandated, I want you to provide that for me. Give me the proper mask. I don't wanna wear the wrong mask and have it do something to me. You know, not being able to breathe, breathing in all kinds of toxins. How about you give me the mask? Matter of fact, how about I don't wear a mask and have that be that? But I think I'll leave that right there for now. And what say you? Did this guy make his point about the mask kerfuffle? If you think so, let me know why in the comments below. Or did he not make his point? Was he being obnoxious? Should we all stay home, wear a mask, social distance for how long? Forever? I'm seeing that all over the place. Stay home, maybe, yell, social distance for how long? I mean, seriously, they're talking about oh, until the curve flattens. The curve is flattened right now. Anybody in the hospital no more? What are we doing? Stay home until who says what uh, to the governor of your state says leave. Are they a doctor? Like, are they somebody that has control over your life like that? So you can't even leave your house because they're trying to protect you. It's ridiculous. I'm seeing where I live more elderly people outside eating at restaurants and everywhere else than young people. So the question is, is it about grandma or is it about you? If you are a stay at home person, if you are must wear a mask person, whatever your thoughts are, please let me know in the comments below. And that's all I got to say for this video. If you like what you heard, please comment, rate, share, and subscribe. Peace.